The Montgomery County School District is growing faster than its classrooms can keep up. And that means the system must expand. But how? Horace Holmes live tonight outside Montgomery Blair High School with a look. Horace. Well, Montgomery Blair High School behind me is one example of the problem packed to capacity 3,000 students right now. In just a couple of years, it will be bursting at the seams. Nahum Tedla and Khalib Rabiso are both juniors in Montgomery Blair High School. They say it's gotten so crowded in the three years they've been here. Kids just always bumping into each other like on their way to lunch. And now it's hard to move through the hallways. From going from like 300 hallway all the way down to the first floor, pretty hard. The problem with school overcrowding is nearly out of control in the county. The school population has jumped by more than 16,000 in just the past seven years. We are the largest and fastest growing district uh, in Maryland, and so we need a little more help to try to manage that growth. The school system has looked to the state for help, but that help hasn't come. Projections have Montgomery County schools growing by another 11,000 students by 2020. And right now, parents say the situation is unbearable and unacceptable. It's way overcrowded. The problem is being felt the most right now in middle and elementary schools. And as these students get older, already overcrowded high schools will explode. In the short term, the county has tried to meet the challenge by erecting these portable classrooms. I don't want my kid to be shoved into a class that's, you know, larger than what a teacher can reasonably handle. Nearly 400 portable classrooms have been spread throughout elementary schools. Eight here at Beale Elementary in Rockville, five at Woodland in Silver Spring. Parents like Angela C., mother of a fourth grader, don't like it. And the winter time's really cold and the summer time's really hot. But right now, county school leaders, tight on space and money, don't have many good alternatives. Montgomery County School Superintendent will address the problem tomorrow when he unveils his long-term construction plan. The questions are, at this point, how are they going to pay for it and will it be enough to meet this big need? Reporting live in Silver Spring, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Horace.